Hey guys and gals, Gunshy Mori here with another Arc Aberration video where today I'm working on my farm. So I did just get my greenhouse finished. It's this top room here at the very top of my house. And well, I figured today would be a good day to go out and get some dung beetles, maybe the no untamables ants, just because that's a good way to get automated started. But apparently if I get the butlers, the survivor mates, um, they are apparently way better at it. But to begin with here today, we're going to be running out to get the dung beetles. And that should be a pretty simple task. So all I need to do here is wait for my creatures to drop me some poop. I only got like one piece. I would like to grab three or four. Just so I could grab, again, three or four beetles. I'm just going for low level ones because all we need them for is for converting fertilizer. Or was it poop into fertilizer? That's all we really need them for. So if I could just get enough poop. Do you seriously drop small feces? Iguanodon? I thought you would be medium. Okay. So, I got these two north rows over here. I think they both just pooped, so we should... Uh, no, we didn't. I'm up to three. Uh, this is probably the boring part of the video where everyone's going to skip over me collecting poop. So, I'll get back to you guys once I... Ha Actually, I do. I got them all. This is the four. That's all I need. Just make sure that they don't all spoil at the same time. So... Now we'll go look for a dung beetle. This should be pretty easy. All I'm going to use here is Dirt Dino Finder to help me find them. If I could select them, boom. Now we should just have a bunch of them around us. I'm just going to go get the closest ones around. And I'm also going to grab cryopods and my globe, was it my bulb dog here? So that way uh, we don't get swarmed by nameless. Okay. First dung beetle is extremely easy. It's quite literally right down the cliff from our house. So I think all I have to do here is put animal feces in my last slot, go up to it. Yep, that there is a dung beetle. Now all I have to do here is rinse and repeat this process three more times. Okay, here is number two. Well, bam. Now it does appear that my beetles are in the middle of a bit of a dangerous zone so I'm going to clear this out here and I'll get these last two beetles that should be all I need to do there to clear it out so this is number three and this is number four. Oh, forgot to put the last poop in my hot bar but there we go that you just had to be difficult he just had to make it difficult on me you know but good thing I could squeeze one out right there in a quick, <laughs> real quick to finish this off. And there we go. That is number four. So now we will run these guys back to base. And I do believe I have everything I need to go tame up one of the ants from No Untamables. So I'm going to double check that. And if not, we are just going to hop right into placing down all our crop plots, getting them organized, working out where we need to put some preserving bins. Even though we technically don't need preserving bins, so actually I won't even worry about that because we got all these dung beetles. The dung beetles work exactly like preserving bins, except they're slightly automated in the fact that they pick up all the poop on their own. I can turn off my bulb dog here so that way my uh, seeker quits, you know, trying to cons consume his light. So now I've here really quickly crafted up just a small little pen for them. I'm really not sure how this is going to look. Um, do I want to do it out here? Yeah, this is where we'll do it. So let me flip that and then I'll just place down these. Okay, so I got this mini wall up and it doesn't look that great now. So I'm throwing the frontier skin on and I think that will help a bit. Except, I don't know if I like that. You know? I mean, it works for now. Um, it's the only skins I got. Because I really do not like the steampunk railings. Except for like when I'm lining the roof. So, yeah. I think we're going to just use that for now. But, here we go. Let's pop out all our dung beetles. And then we'll get them set up to uh, collect. I know they're one of that, that one there on the left is going to freak out here for a second that one there as well is gonna freak out here for a second so there we go 
Now, let's get you guys set up to... Are you enabled or de disabled? Enable. Okay. Now, take a drink of water so that way I don't dehydrate while I try and figure this out. You know what it is? I'm pretty sure I just have to enable wandering here real quick on all of them. And that should set everything up. Right? You guys can't breed, correct? Ooh, you can. Oh, but you don't have any genders, so no, you can't. Okay. Okay. Let me just enable wandering on all these. I'm pretty sure that's how you activate their passive ability of just auto-collecting poop. Now, there is a way I can test that, and that's just by getting creatures nearby for them to collect the poop of. Okay, I just dropped poop. Which one of you guys collected it? You did. All right, so it is working. They're all set to wandering. And yeah, technically this should be good to go. I just have to check on them every now and again and make sure that they all don't starve to death. Okay, so I got me some crop plots crafting up right now. I didn't even check for to see if I had the stuff for the ants for some reason. I really need to go do that because I would like to get the ants going. Because, well, hold up. What do I need for a survivor? This is going to make it a lot easier. What do I need for a survivor? Um, The black pearls is the only thing I'm out of. I don't have. But this would take literally all my electronics, all my cementing paste, all my polymer, all my crystal. This is This is like a lot of stuff for just one of these guys. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need two of them to get the the farm 100% automated. That's why I want to try and get the ants. Because they would cover the automation here for a good chunk of while. Until I get these guys going. Okay, so I think I got all my small crop plots placed where I want them. Now these are going to be berries. Now I normally don't... Eh, I normally do berries, but this time around I really don't think I need to. Because we're set with the Iguanodon. But I do got them placed down. The only ones I'm going to worry about getting going today are the stimulants and the narcotic berries. So stem berries and narcotics. Just so that way I can somewhat say like, oh, I always have some stem berries or narcotic berries on hand. You know? I guess that's technically always why I do the the berries. So, so, I can, bleh, so that way I can always say, yeah, I have these berries on hand. But I think we're gonna we're just gonna hold off on starting those. We're just gonna work on getting these going today. And as well, we're gonna get uh four large crop plots placed down. So that way I can get vegetables growing. Okay, so I got my last couple large crop plots here finishing. As you may notice, I'm only stacking these too high. Uh you can stack these literally to the ceiling if you want, but yeah. I'm only gonna stack these too high. But Got those all going. I think I'm going to put the ant hill over here when I get it. This is starting to look like a good farm. It's going to look even more like amazing once we get everything growing. Because there's going to be greenery throughout it. And yeah, it, it will look a lot better. But it's starting to look good. Um, As well, what is our greenhouse effect? Nothing. Great. Um, I don't know why. There's greenhouse walls right there. Maybe they changed how this worked. Because originally it was like you just had to have them near some greenhouse walls and it worked. That's how my scorched earth farm work. It literally, they were like, like angled like walls. Like you would put a wall and then, oh, maybe it's because of the ceiling art. Maybe it's the ceiling. Because, yeah, these are all wood ceiling. Maybe I, I might have to go back through and redo the ceiling. Ew, I don't have a crystal. I don't have the crystal for that for today. But I think what we're going to do here is go and try tame a no untamable ant. And it's pretty easy here if I just search up queen. We're looking... Uh, what are they called? Alrighty, after a little bit of investigating, it does not appear that the no untamables... Like, tinto, what are they called? Tinto more? Titano Myrima? The, the ants, the ant queen, they've not been updated yet for aberration apparently, so that is out of the question for now. 
So I think for today, what we're going to do is just kind of work on getting the vegetables growing and as well the narcotic and stem berries. Thing is, though, is these guys are kind of taking forever. And as well, this one's in my way. They're all like piled up right at my door. Can I get over the wall? I Yes, I can if I would actually put my mind to it because I do have my spider, but yeah. These guys, I don't think, are harvesting poop from the other creatures because they might be too far away. Yeah, no, these guys are too far from any other uh, creature. So, what if I get some bull? <laughs> I don't know. I need something to throw nearby so that way they collect poop. Yeah, like, because look, I'm down on the floor right below them and none of them want to pick that up. Not a one of them. So, that is telling me that their range is, their range for pickup is extremely extremely small so i will probably have to like put something above them or below them you know what i could do i could do a dodo farm up in this little nook and then that should produce all the poop i will ever need for them but i'll probably worry about the dodos later it's literally coming down to like all right we got the farm built now what do we need Literally just to wait like a while so that way I can get more resources But yeah, so I guess anyways if you guys Enjoyed this short episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing And as well remember to ring that notification bell and share this video because that does really help out the channel And yeah, this has been Gunshy Mori Signing off peace